Hey everybody, this is Glidercat, and it is time to play back in Drill Down. Last episode, we kicked off our drill. There wasn't uh, any spectacular animation other than a, a slow moving, <laughs> slow moving progress bar to watch. But we'll see. I'm anxious to see what happens while that runs. It's gonna take a while. We saw kind of towards the end of last episode, we have a, kind of some odds and end things to do. We saw that the storage of logs is now empty. Let's see if we can't give it a little boost. Feed that for a bit. Slow down on our plank production. I've been chewing through these planks because I'm putting barrels just about everywhere as buffers. Um, yeah. Oh, I should mention too, we're pretty far along in the series, but I have not posted, as I record this, I haven't posted a single episode. So we are, I'm recording quite a bit in advance. And I do that so I have some good content to show for the first look video that I'm planning to put together. So if you've placed comments and I haven't responded to them, that's why. Or at least haven't responded to them in my gameplay. That's why. This series is... I'm doing several episodes more than I thought I would ahead of time. Um, because in the first look video, I'd like to be able to communicate what's going to happen when we actually quote-unquote drill down. So apologize for that. See how we're doing. We'll let this thing drain all the way out. I can see we're full up here on dirt. Let's move this guy down. And he can fill up somebody else. This guy's got 135. This guy's got 71. So we'll send dirt into that one. This guy's going to have plenty of logs when we're done. That's fine. And let's get back to doing... The sawmill. Be nice if I had a buffer right before the sawmill, but I don't. So we'll let that run. We've got a crazy number here. Was it nine lumberjacks going? Take a look here at the progress bar. We're about halfway through. How's our compacted coal? We started working on that last time. Three carbon blocks, I should say. Ooh, this is kind of slow, huh? Looks like it's the powdering that's well. I bet the whole the whole process is probably slow. We can't do much about that, I don't think. Not until we get splitters. All right, let's see what's next. We are going to go for the science lab. I think there's some stuff we got to do here. Magnets. That one wasn't hard, right? Let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, metalworking, maybe. Polarizer. Iron ingots. Through the polarizer, get your magnets. Uh, okay. How about, what about right through here? We still have a way to get out of here if we had to. But what about putting, let's see how big that polarizer thing is. I'm not going to find it. How big are you? Not bad. Did we just do something like that and have some storage of magnets here? I think we can find our way out if we need to route them somewhere, like into this. Well, we do. We know we need to route them into the science lab, right? Um, that's where our iron ingots are. Do I have more iron ingots? I thought I did. What is coming out of here? Iron ingots, right? Oops, let me get out of the build menu. Okay, these are iron plates. We've got iron ingots up here we could divert. Kinda like that idea better. Kinda like that idea better. We could just bypass this thing. Where was it? Polarizer. What about here? Something like that. Bring him down, just redirect this guy. And same kind of thing, set up a barrel or something and storm. Ah, uh, I like it. I like that quite a bit. Let's do our buddy. Put maybe there. Convert these down. There. Boom. 
Boom. Get out of the build. Enable this guy to unload. Barrel. Does it make sense to have these run next to each other? I don't know. I guess we can. Why not? Try it. That's about the easiest production chain ever. We'll see. Uh, we'll let the iron come through and just do that. Looks like we've got tons of supply here. Tons of supply. In fact, we probably need another Aster guy, right? We're running four off of these. I don't know if they're all running, but I guess they kind of are. Should we set up another molten channel over here? Can I squeeze in another one of those guys? Uh, where is it? Uh, ingot mold, that's what I'm thinking of. Can I get creative like this? Bet we can, right? Why not? Let's do it. I think that, you know, it's not optimal. But I think we can do it. Right. We're wasting some production by not having this here. A little spaghetti, but... We actually want this up. I think. Let's do that. Can't hurt. Space we're not using. I have a feeling we'll get a little bit more ingot production out of that. Not sure how many magnets we're going to need long term. We do need to route those to the lab. That won't be bad. We'll come straight across. And they should make their way in. What else do we have here? That's easy. Okay, 100 copper wire, 10 carbon blocks. Eight ferrous magnets and a partridge and a pear tree. Bronze plates. Bronze plates. Bronze? Is bronze the thing that requires tin? Oh, wait. Did we make it through? We did. Um, now what? What? What do we do? <gasps> Check it out. We've got this uh, extra arrow here. Boom. Do we have to explore? I have no idea. Okay, we're one level below the surface. This is new. I don't remember seeing this before. Dirt, clay, ore, fuel, iron ore, copper ore. I have no idea what to do. Kind of confused. Do we have to dig down again? Guess we do, right? I guess we keep that shaft drill going. Um... I'm kind of confused about what I'm seeing here. Am I only getting access to these little resources around the perimeter? After waiting for inputs, that's our same drill. So I know we have things like... Where is it? Item lift. Transports items between two layers and places a sibling on the layer below. But is this all we get? That much space to see at the lower layer. Do I got to put more drills down to expose more of the layer? It looks like that's the case, right? I can vaguely see that there's a I think my eyes may not be good enough for this. Uh, yeah, no, I guess I don't. I was going to say, I thought I saw a whole layer here. I guess I do, right? There's texture here. There's no texture next to me, and I can't mouse over. So we've got a whole layer here. Do I have to explore it? Can I build on that layer? Um, confused. Not sure. Oh, and then we got to deal with this air purifier, right? Purifies the dusty air in a wide radius around itself. Uh, let's go up a level. Why are we getting dusty air? This thing's supposed to kick out dust that we're supposed to be worried about, I think. 
Let's let it keep drilling. I'm going to unload. Oh, yeah, we starved that out of sand. Let's pause. Let's send some of the sand back up this way. Go play. That'll get the production going. Then I'm going to open the storage if I don't have it already open. Put that out. And I guess we let this guy just keep on drilling down. Name of the game. But I thought we'd have more stuff. I'm guessing they're going to let me build here if I want. Right? But I can't... Hmm. Man, that's interesting. I mean, I don't need more stone. I don't need one little nugget of dirt. Do I have to drill all over the place to even see what's available? Not sure. Not sure. And then it looks like you probably have to keep the area around the drill clear if you want to bring stuff up to the surface, right? So this water probably doesn't belong here. Probably needs to be moved. Same thing with this pipe. It probably needs to come at least two tiles back. Not sure. Let's look at, uh, let's let that run for a bit. Not worry about it. Uh, we'll have to think, think about that a bit. Maybe I can check the wiki and just see how that works. Let's see if we can do anything with Brown's plates. I don't think we can. Don't think we can. Let's, we're here. There's nothing here related to bronze. This is all right now. It looks like it's entirely about coal. Miscellaneous purifier, we saw mixer, anything remotely bronzy here. Concrete powder, bronze dust, there it is. Look, we need tin. I think we gotta keep drilling. Hmm. Hmm. I cannot move forward on the tech tree beyond what we have until we find tin. And I believe we have to drill pretty deep for the tin. Think. Copper dust and tin dust. We could think about making the copper dust and start storing that up. In fact, we do we have a place where we can tap into or we could kind of steal this ore. Got a fair number of ingots we're storing up. We've got tons of little paper clips. Just kidding, it's wire. We can redirect. These are both full. Let's redirect this that way. And then we saw we probably need another ingot storage here. But let's see. Before we do that, let's. I guess we can make the copper dust. That's in here, maybe? Uh, I might just say ore dust, right? Ore dust from ore gravel. Or gravel is the crusher, right? Crusher needs 15 steel ingots. I need to save some steel ingots somewhere. Let's pause this barrel. Collect up some steel ingots. And then we can get a crusher and at least start collecting some copper dust. I'm kind of concerned about the drill situation. Let's go down again. Tin ore, copper ore. What are... I'm off to the right of the screen here. What are these icons for? What are they trying to tell me? Tin ore. Copper ore. This is telling me the ores that are available on this level, I'm guessing. So if I go down, got the same ores available on this level. How do I find them? We're just going to place a couple conveyors. I'm guessing we... Can I? No, can't. Hmm. Not sure what the idea is here. Statistics actually take a look through a tour through the what we can build 
mean, nothing here is promising. I'm looking for something that might allow us to see more of the layer below. Because if we have to drill like crazy, that's a little nutty. However, maybe the idea is you got to punch holes through however many layers there are. And then you can take up your drill and move it and drill down somewhere else. Um, and then maybe use the space that the drill's on. Like maybe eventually if we got rid of our drill, maybe this would show up as something other than just a big hole and we could uh, use it, build on it. Once we've uncovered this layer, I don't know. It just seems kind of strange that we only get a two block wide view into the layer below. I mean, that would involve drilling like crazy to explore this, this level. Hmm. Then I guess you'd have to get creative about your placement if you didn't want to blow up more ores. You know what I'm saying? So if I put the drill up here next time, I could blow away something valuable that's uncovered. But I could move it over to and let it drill down. And then it would just ex expand one band of two, <laughs> of two more. That would take forever. Oh man, I have no idea what to do. Let's uh, go up to the surface. Thinking about setting up another drill. We're going to have an issue with uh, our steel production, right? It's just not sufficient to keep the drill moving. Let's refill the other buffers down here with some charcoal. Gonna replenish that. Let those guys run for a while. Yeah, our steel production is going to be... Seems like it's going to be just too slow for all of what we want to do. This guy kicks out 2.2 liters. We'll call that four times that is a minute. So we'll say eight molten a minute. Just ballpark and figures here. And this does two, yeah, two, four. I think we could get more, more metal cast, more uh, ingot molds. Let's do that. We can put them. Oh, we can't cross over. Uh, where can I do those? Oof. And do them. Here. I think let's do it. Put down a couple of these guys. Just trying to see if we can amp up our steel production. Got no way to get those ingots back to where I want them. Oh, I do. I can come down. Right. Let's do it. I gotta come down, all the way down, and then up. If I want to store them in there. I think we should do that. Still pondering in the back of my mind what the next step's gonna be. I'm a little perplexed. I think this will prove to be of use. These new ingot molds. We'll see. I think it's close to a 1 to 4 ratio, but I could be wrong. So we're saving up metal so we can grind copper. Yeah, boy, I'm kind of puzzled. Okay, let's look. Let's continue to look here. Anything interesting? What's a tube shaft? Let's fluids flow. Okay, and then this lets items flow. Places a sibling on the layer below. Okay, that's just vertical transport of goods. Storage. Ooh, silo. That's new. Giant steel structure storing massive amounts of fluid. Okay, that's better than the tank, but it's huge. 8,000 liters. Raw resources. Nothing new here. We know all about all of those. 
We're processing. We've done it. We've done it all. Just looking for like a radar or some crazy thing that we haven't noticed. We've done that. Plates, tubes, wire, and magnets. Nothing there for us. Appliance lab, mixer. Air purifier we haven't used yet. Purifies the dusty air in a wide radius around itself. Not sure. I thought I read somewhere with a shaft drill. Yeah, it produces a lot of dust in the air, it says. Drills a vertical shaft to expand the mine and produces a lot of dust in the air. I don't know if we're supposed to put that this uh, air purifier nearby. We have the resources to do it. I guess we could drop one down just to see it. Um, maybe there's something to learn from doing it. Oh, does it cover? It covers a huge area. Okay. What do you need? Anything? Oh, you're going to produce something out of the air for us. Uh, what are you going to spit out? Stone dust. Uh, I have stone dust right there that I need. Can I do it? I think that's stone dust. Or replace that. Let me just double check it. Isn't this guy kicking out stone dust? Yeah. Let's put an air purifier down just for the heck of it. While we try and figure out what the heck we're doing. Um, I kind of don't want to block my output for this guy, so let's go over one more. Then we could always... We needed this gravel somewhere else. We could take it from here, though, too. Uh, that's probably fine. Can I just plunk it right here? Do it. Hey, it's snoozing. Why are you snoozing? I don't know why it's snoozing. Maybe it's not getting enough dust? I think we lined up the outputs, right? 10 seconds, it produces one stone dust. I don't know. I have no idea. I can't move it. I guess we'll leave it and see. Maybe there's just not enough dust here. Maybe we're supposed to be putting more drills down. Alright, let's get off of that so we don't have that overlay. Man! Alright, let's do copper dust. Where were we going to tap in? We were going to tap in over here, I think. Or we've got copper up here. Where is it? Copper up here is super duper 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 Super scooper slow. I think we have an issue right here. Wow, probably for a long time. Like I said, I record in batches, so if you pointed this out earlier, I recorded a lot of episodes ahead of time for this particular series. So I apologize if you pointed this this little error out to me earlier and I wasn't able to get to it. Till now. That is why. Okay, that unleashes these guys to actually start producing more copper for us. Fine, we've been getting by without it. Not a huge deal. But I was looking over here to see where it makes sense for us to tap into the copper. It looks like maybe down here, right? Because we've got a lot of ingots stored up. We've got tons of wire. I think we've got surplus copper over this area. Let's do the pulverizing. Where is it? It's the crusher, right? Crusher is going to take ore and turn it into ore gravel. And then we're going to take the ore gravel and turn it into ore dust. Let's do a crusher here. It's not very big. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to leave a little room in case we want to get to that coal up there. I don't think we'll need to, but just in case. Okay, that's that. We want a path for this ore to make it down.
fact, we can redirect it now. Okay, that's going to be our ore gravel, and then we need to pulverize it. This guy. guess like this, this will do. We're going to take ore gravel and turn it into ore dust. This, whoops, of course I didn't double click it. I think that's fine placement. There's that, and let's barrel it up. And start with one barrel. Alright, 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 alright. Feel these guys, this mold is kicking in. So hopefully that's helping. Increase our production a tiny bit. We started cashing this off. Or storing up some iron ingots just so we could do the copper powder production. I think we can set those ingots loose now. Uh, if we wanted to, if we wanted to, we could set, set up barrel right there. Doubt it's going to get anything. Let's do it. I'm thinking if we wanted to have our own little supply of steel ingots just to have on hand, maybe we can do it off of this last ingot mold. I don't know how much that one's going to get. And then we'll set this guy loose. So we can keep drilling down, I guess. Got plenty of water. It's got plenty of the concrete stuff. Let's see how we're doing over here. This guy could still use more sand, it looks like. So we'll leave that. As it is. Down a level. Let me go down a level. What's that? Nothing. It's just me clicking on a block of a, I guess, highlighted. Really curious as to how we expand this. Just don't know. Can't imagine that we have to expand that slow with that many drills. But we'll see. It looks like, is this guy kicking on again? No, we just released the, uh, the lingots. No, he's got all the water he needs. It's got all the concrete powder. Needs a lot more iron ingots. Tons more. Needs 180. He's got 91. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Between episodes, I'll try and take a look. See what I can do to speed things along. Yeah, that dirt storage is full. Let's route this down somewhere else. That guy's almost full. That guy's full. This guy could use it. Let's uh, pause. Send the dirt down to this guy. The most needy. Play it. Everybody else seems like they're producing charcoal. How's the wood doing? 192. 155, 63, and 76. Let's load this one up. Let that run. Looks like we got plenty of planks now. We're doing a lot better, at least on planks. In fact, we can probably let this back up. Just let that run. Uh, Copper dust we should be getting now. Yep. Let's look at the tech tree one more time. Boom. Boom. Bronze plates. We saw that we can't do bronze plates. This is all cement stuff, right? Or no, here it is. There's our copper dust. 
Here's our bronze dust. I'm guessing we can smelt bronze dust into uh, ingots or something. But yeah, look at the tin dust. Oh, man. Need tin. We don't have it. We got to find it by drilling. Pretty sure. Um, Let's look at... Can I smelt dust in a furnace and get better production out of it? You know what I'm saying? So if I were to turn my... Guess not, right? If I were to turn my iron into dust, would I get more production out of it? Doubt it. Let's look at the furnace. There shows only one recipe there. It takes ore and turns it into molten metal. Is there any way... Does this guy have other recipes? This is the blast furnace. Or... Or gravel. Okay, ore dust plus fuel gets us molten metal. We could... I gotta think this is more productive, right? I have to do the math. Maybe I'll check it out between episodes. We could, if we wanted to, increase production. No, we're not really hurting on ore. We're not, we don't really need to stretch this out. I mean, we could try and scale up our steel production somehow. A few different ways we could do it. We've got an iron supply over here. It seems like that's going to be the long pull to getting more drilling done. We've got a bunch of iron over here in an open space where we could do some production of steel. And we've got iron over here. we got some open space where we could do production of steel. The thing I'm wondering is, where, how am I going to place these drills? Like, where am I going to place them? Even if I had another... Yeah, it's kind of a chicken and egg thing. Even if I had another drill, I don't have the material to feed it. And man, this first layer is just depressing with one little nugget of dirt. <laughs> it's just a depressing. I want tin, like just this whole ring of tin. Because that's what we need to move forward in the tech tree. All right, well, let's wrap this episode here. I'm going to do a little looking on. There's a wiki for the game. I'm going to look and see what we need to do to see more of these different levels as we drill down. Quote, unquote, drill down. Like I said, I'm assuming this display here is showing us what ores are available. So it's saying, hey, on this level, you'll find dirt, clay, iron and copper but you're not going to find tin that's why there's a little no bueno sign for tin but man it's going to be slow going to keep drilling down I mean you can kind of see that unless we really ramp up our our steel ingot production water's a piece of cake that's not going to be a problem for us concrete powder is okay look we're we've got plenty Got a bunch queued up here. It's just the steel. So, yeah, I'll look around, see what I can learn. And we may come back and just have to really try and amp up the steel production somehow. We have an option to convert ores into powder to stretch them out, maybe get some more production. We have to use the blast furnace for that, though. I can't use our little basic furnace to process ore powders. I can use this big guy. But it's four times as big. So there's that to consider. And then we saw earlier we've got some iron deposits here. That's what it's all about. Iron and charcoal. Charcoal production is doing pretty darn good. I think. We could always scale it up even more if we want. In fact, before we go, let's... Let's route logs somewhere else where they're low. And we'll just leave this run and kind of starve out the planks for a little bit, I think. All right, that's it for this one. We drilled it down. We've done it. We've got some stuff to learn, but we will pick it up in the next episode for analysis of Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. 
you enjoy watching this video, do please do consider giving the videos a thumbs up. That helps my tiny channel grow, and I will see you in the next episode.